guess who's back 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 again <laughs> hello everyone and welcome to today's video welcome to my channel if you are new if you are an og subscriber then i really do apologize that i've gone a little bit mia i don't think i've posted on my youtube channel for five weeks now i have some new friends <laughs> I haven't named them yet so actually pop some two names down below in the comments everyone has been so lovely so supportive thank you so much for supporting me on my journey honestly I really really appreciate it so much but um yeah I've been a little bit absent just lost my mojo a little bit recovery was quite difficult for me as I documented in my breast augmentation recovery vlog i'll link it on the screen here if you haven't seen that it's a long one i do apologize i feel so much more like myself um i feel like now the swelling is slightly starting to go down i can really start experimenting with clothes generally i haven't really changed dress size um unless it's a really really tight top but i'm tending to still wear smalls or eights on the top that was one of my main concerns with getting the breast augmentation is that my style would change luckily i'm still able to wear the same thing so i don't know if you can see on this rail it wasn't intentional but it's basically a pink yellow and kind of neutral tall had a little look on asos i think last week they had a 20 percent off when love island was on I'm like why would you do that <laughs> it was between seven and nine i think or seven and ten and i had a few items in my basket and all Gemini's basically is a 20% discount and there I was checking out. Got some really cute pieces to show you. I really hope you enjoy today's ASOS video. Of course I'll really be back with my usual hauls um, and posting twice a week. No excuses, I've got to get back into the swing of it. Um, so if you do enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here i'll put my instagram on the screen here as well it's at Gemma torbert come and follow me over there i post like lots of reels um lots of fun content different ways to wear things so i would love to come and see you over there the first thing i picked up was this t-shirt i apologize it is a little bit crease so i'll actually give it a steam before i try it on um, the reason I picked this up is because I still am having to wear my kind of sports post-surgery bra and it's quite difficult to wear underneath things without it showing and the one thing I will say is having my boots on it didn't actually instantly make me more confident which is something that I wish other women had said on vlogs but that's a story for another day so I picked this up because I just you know it's going to be so easy to wear throw over my little surgery bra and also will just look really cute even with like this outfit here i've got these ripped <laughs> zara denim jeans on this top is actually from zara as well and i just feel really comfortable in it so this is from top shop i picked this one up in a small which i think is a size 8 to 10 it is quite a boxy fit as you'll see from the cutaway but i just think this is really cute it's so easy to style i love the little slogan here um and i'd say i think this one is cotton yes 100 cotton so really nice and breathable if we ever get a summer honestly i had to literally film this video around the weather because it just is not stop raining in london honestly it's july i'm in jeans and jumpers and i am not here for it the next thing i picked up was this little skirt so it's like a linen-y blend um it is lined so you don't have to worry about it being see-through i'm just not 100 percent sure about this i thought it was going to look different than it did when it arrived i did pick this one up in a size eight i feel I might send this one back do let me know what you think it is super super cute i love that there's a little slit here but i just thought it would fit me in a different way but even something like that really really cute with a pair of trainers super casual um dress down look but just really nice i mean pink is just the color of the season pink and green color blocking i'm totally here for it um and i love pink and white together but also you could really work a print into this skirt like a gingham something like that and i feel off the top of my head this was really reasonable i think it was under 20 pounds i'm just not 100 percent decided whether i'm gonna keep this i'm just gonna give you a little warning i think this little top is actually my favorite thing from the whole haul i love it 
So I did get this one in a 10, I think because at the time the eight had sold out and I thought, you know what, you can tie this at the front. I don't know what size I am yet because I haven't been measured, but I think, yeah, the 10 is perfect. It fits so nicely. I love this lemon print on here. It's gorgeous. It goes like that at the back as well. This is a size 10. It fits my little boobies perfectly. Well, not little boobies, but fits my boobs perfectly. I love it. It feels like almost like a linen-y material, but it's 99% cotton, 1% elastane. I think even with high-waisted jeans like this, really, really cute, or like linen-y wide leg trousers, I've got some from H&M, from Stories, that I think would look really nice with this. And because it's got yellow and green in it, I feel like I've got a green bag, which I bought from Zara. I think I posted that Zara haul ages ago, but I'll link it for you on the screen here. Just adding a pop of colour with like a green bag is really cute. Or if you're feeling super adventurous, maybe even some green jeans. I've got my eye on a pair of Zara ones. So actually, maybe the next video I post will be a Zara haul. They've got so many pieces that I love at the minute. I love this. I'm obsessed with it. I love these little tops for summer. If you've got a holiday plan, this would be perfect. They look so nice with little denim shorts with skirts you get the drift but yeah i love this and it was really really reasonable and what i'll do is i'll link the other colorways it came on a gorgeous floral print i think they've got like a tie a tie one that's like black and white it's so it's monochrome but it looks like a leopard print it's also so so nice so i'll link those down below in the description box for you picked up a pair of yellow jeans so these are actually strad are they stradivarius yeah stradivarius so they're a straight fit i love this yellow it's gorgeous and that is what they look like so they are quite wide they have a slight frayed finish on the bottom and then that is what they look like from the back so i got these ones in a 36 which is a uk 8 i would say they fit me quite well, although they do kind of give me a little bit of a front way wedgie. But I think with these kind of jeans, they're a bit like the Zara ones that they just give after like one or two wears. So I think what I need to do is just kind of like wear them around the house, wear them a bit more and I'll, yeah, I'll like the fit. Um, they also have a load of other colours. Again, I feel like these are really reasonably priced. I think they're like under £25. They feel like a really nice quality. They don't have much gip, like as in stretch to them. But I know these kind of jeans do stretch, if that makes sense. And I totally had a vision of this together. But again, colour blocking is such a huge trend for this summer. And I love pink and yellow together so if you could find a pink little top pink t-shirt a pink little cami i've got one from zara actually which is like a ribbed bandeau with like really thin spaghetti straps that would look adorable with this but um yeah let me know what you think i think just pair this with some sandals like a dad sandal or just a pair of trainers would look really really cute um but i'm really really chuffed that i picked these up and um yeah i'm loving the color so so much so I picked up this little cropped jacket because I've got two denim jackets which I've been wearing so much recently over little dresses because in London, like I said, it's really wet at the minute. I mean, where's hot girl summer? More like wet girl summer and also not the good kind of wet. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, is it really bad that I laugh at my own jokes? <laughs> but sometimes i feel like depending on the dress that i'm wearing i feel a bit swamped in my denim jackets because i tend to size up and the way they sit they usually sit like here so if i've got a cute midi dress on i kind of feel like i need something a little bit more cropped don't know if that makes any sense but logically it makes sense to me and i saw this and i thought it would be so cute to layer over little summer dresses um trousers just something where you feel like it needs to sit a little bit shorter and i do quite like that this has still got that boxy fit i do always tend to size up at least one size in my outerwear i just prefer that slouchy more oversized fit i know it's not for everybody but i personally really like it and i think it just makes the outfit look a little bit more effortless 
um, a little bit more cool and yeah I didn't actually size up in this one I got a small but I think the small is an 8 to 10 so this one is actually from Topshop it's this really lovely cream color but I almost feel like it's got a slight touch of yellow but it's not like yellow if that makes sense also I've noticed so I think this is from the considered range which is Feel like their sustainable collection really like this it is kind of boxy but without like swamping me if that makes sense and i think it's going to look really cute laid over the top of these little dresses which i'm going to show you next obviously i told you about the little lemon tie front top and i saw the dress version i love this it's got this really nice tie front detail again this one is top shop it just feels like a lovely material um this one is lined as well having dresses that are lined just makes such a difference i feel like a much nicer quality and yeah i really really like this neckline i'm finding this neckline for me is really working at the minute this and like milkmaid style dresses things that i always wanted to wear when i had small boobs but felt like i just couldn't fill the dress out um and i definitely can fill the dress out now <laughs> the only thing is guys i need your help because do i need the top and the dress in the same print i mean same same different but also do i need it comment below let me know but this is basically a top shop haul they are killing it at the minute i'm so impressed and this little jacket layered over the dress so so cute the last dress i wanted to show you is this gorgeous one from stradivarius i love this the only thing i will say is i think this comes up really small and i actually need to size up to a medium it's not even on the top part it's more like look how tiny that is i just feel like it's quite tight i don't really like dresses that are tight i mean it's not bodycon but it feels like bodycon um and for me i would definitely wear this in the day dress down with a pair of trainers and i want to feel comfortable um so i think if it's still in stock i need to reorder this in a medium it's a really really nice quality it's like that linen-y material and this one isn't lined which is a little bit disappointing but the material is thick enough that it won't be see-through i love the little details on the front you've got this little tie here and then this little kind of puff sleeve but without being too puffy um i do think that stradivarius actually comes up quite small and i never tend to learn my lesson usually i don't actually buy from stradivarius directly i'll buy from asos so yeah do bear that in mind um, but it's really cute it's got this little slit here and i really like the length on me and i am five seven and a half for reference in heels i feel like i'm about six foot but this would also look really really cute with a pair of castanias honestly the only heel or well it's a wedge but it's like the only heel that i'll wear now because I just can't wear heels that are not comfortable and they are so so comfortable these were actually in the sale they are adidas the reason that i picked these up is yeah they were in the sale but also i love my air force ones is that what i've got yeah air force ones the only issue i have with them is they do sometimes feel a little chunky i mean they're not as chunky as my balenciagas but i don't know sometimes i think that if you really want to dress a if you want to dress a dress down and make it more casual they're great but i wanted something a little bit more streamlined something that would look really nice with dresses and like midi midi dresses um little skirts like you know what i mean i'm probably rambling i have actually had a pair of stan smiths before and they were so so comfortable but they had like the green bit on the back these ones are just completely plain literally box fresh i just really really like them they're really simple nothing fancy or fussy but just with a cute little frilly sock really really cute i actually think that i did get a frilly sock as well i got these frilly socks so if you can see the little frill there they were just like three pounds um because i've been wearing my nike tick socks um but that does make it look quite sporty whereas those are like really quite girly and feminine um so i got these ones in a six and a half i find personally for me that adidas come up big i usually take a half size down i think maybe i am a six and a half so if a 
brand does offer a half size i'll take a half size but i love these i think they're just they they do the job i just needed a new pair of white trainers um they're probably going to get dirty quite quickly but i got them in a sale i think they were 50 and then i got a further 20 percent off so 40 pounds for a new pair of trainers loving life so guys that's my asos haul for you and my first haul in five weeks i really hope that you have enjoyed today's video thank you so much if you've made it to the end and if you have comment with white trainers don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here follow me on instagram at Gemma Talbot. that's my handle and yeah i'll be back on your screens probably on Sunday. <laughs> We're having a lovely week, not getting rained on. Cross our fingers and our toes for some sun, do the sun dance, um, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye guys.